Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, happy new year, I hope you had a fantastic end of the year, let's kill it in 2020 and let's kick off this year with an amazing ghosting effect tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Alright, so this is what we're going to be seeing in today's video tutorial. If you want to follow along with this tutorial using the exact same footage as me, I will put a link in the description below where you can download that. Apart from that, let's open up Adobe After Effects and get started. Alright, so I just imported my footage in Adobe After Effects. This is what I have to start working with. So the first thing that you want to do is duplicate your shot. So you go to Edit, Duplicate. And now we want to go to the beginning and we want to right click time and freeze this frame because we want a clean plate. We shot this on a tripod. It's very important that you shoot it on a tripod or on a motion control device, or you're gonna have a lot of trouble kind of fixing everything in post. You could try a few techniques, but in this case, I wanted it to keep it simple and we have a uh, tripod clean plate right here. I'm gonna put this in the background and I'm going to rename this to clean plate. Next, we want to have our original shot. We can rename that original shot. Now we want to duplicate it again, edit, duplicate, and we want to um, add a difference mat here. So here we actually want to key out ourselves. As you can see right here, if I solo this layer, uh, you can start rotoscoping, which will take a lot of time and effort. So we don't want that. We want to use a simple technique to key out the person. But before we are going to key out this person, well, before we're going to key out myself, we're going to talk about today's video sponsor. And today's video sponsor is CreatorGalaxy.com. CreatorGalaxy.com is the one-stop shop for any digital creator. We offer templates, presets, packs. Soon we're going to be introducing courses and music. It's going to be super exciting. And our most important mission is to keep everything affordable so we can build an entire family of awesome creators that work with our platform and just have the best tools available in order to create epic videos. Check out creatorgalaxy.com with the link in the description below. And now let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so here we're back in Adobe After Effects. We left off on our original shot that we wanted to key out. So how are we gonna be doing that without actually starting to rotoscope? Well, one tool that we could use, it's not the best tool, but it gives a good enough result, especially for this kind of effect is the difference mat uh, keying effect. So we can go to effects keying and we can use the difference mat right here. And here we have the difference layer. So it's going to look at the difference between two layers and what's different, it's going to start keying out. So we have our original shot and our clean plate and our clean plate is where the difference should be looked at because I'm not walking in there. So I'm going to select clean plate and immediately it's going to see this is the difference in the shot. Of course, as you can see, it doesn't look amazing. We can lower the tolerance to something like two and we can start matching the softness a little bit like two as well and play a little bit with the pre-blur. And there we go. This is what we should have so far. And then we can go for effects, matte and matte simple choker just gonna choke it a little bit and there we go and now if we're going to just unsolo this we basically see no difference but we wanted this so we can kind of build layers of this echo effect that we're just going to create right now so this is our key dot character we're going to duplicate a shot control D and then we're going to add an effect called echo so we're going to search for effects and presets echo and we're going to apply that to the keying effect right here. The first thing you want to change is the echo operator. You want to change that to minimum. And then if you're going to start playing, uh, you also want to play with the echo time. And if you're going to lower this, you're going to see that I get like out of the shot. So now we get something like that, which is pretty cool actually. And now you can choose how many duplications you want, like four, how much offset and time they should have, something like this. And if we're going to play this true, we get something like that. I always come with my gang. Okay, so once you have that, you can start playing with the delay uh, or the decay actually, uh, which is to lower the opacity over time. And like that is going to start fading out a little bit and that looks cool. Now you can also press T on the keyboard and just lower the opacity in general. 
Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to duplicate the shot and I'm going to duplicate it once more. And this is going to be my mat. I'm going to delete all the effects here. Well, it's only the echo effect here. And then we have ourselves. The reason why I'm doing that is on the other layer, you can now choose alpha inverted mat and that will just take out the first part. So you're not getting covered on the original footage. And that's something that you can also do if you want, like not to see the echo appear on yourself up front. And you can also even go into the mat and play with the simple choker to make sure that it's not covering any of the foreground here. For the duplication effect, we now want kind of like streaks, so not like literally seeing our actor being duplicated over time. So the only thing to do here is just lower the echo time to a very low number. And just to increase this number. And now you get something like that, which looks really cool as well. So it's really playing around with all these settings in the echo. And if you're going to start combining them, you start to have something like that right here. And you can also add like an effects color correction curves to kind of increase the highlights a little bit if you want and decrease the shadows. And like that, you get something looking like that, which is really cool. You can also add some directional motion blur by going to effects, blur and sharpen, directional blur and set this to 90 uh, degrees in angle and just increase it a little bit. So you get like a soft shadow here and now you get these nice streaks. So with this effect, you can really go and make some crazy animations and like getting these trippy shots. So you can use it in music videos or to kind of um, to show how fast you're hitting something or how fast you're running. Um, basically, the limitations here are endless. Like really, really endless. All right, so I can tell you with this effect, you're gonna have a lot of fun playing around with it. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Also check out our awesome website, creatorgalaxy.com. And if you buy something or become a member of our website, it does help to support this channel as well. So until next time, take care and goodbye.